Previously on the bill. I think we have to focus on Kennedy. If we don't find him quickly, we won't see that girl again. Come on, There is another suspect. I think it's him. You raped the ball, didn't you? Amy Grogan went missing on Kennedy's stomping ground. Her bag was found less than 200 yards from where Sylvain Christensen was raped. I'm just saying that abduction is a big leap in Kennedy's MO. So we sit back. We do nothing. Her parents are going out of their minds with worry. We go storming in there, and Kennedy's not home. We tip him off big time, I know. But what if he's in there, and he's got Amy with him? What if he's hurting her? Please, stay where you are! Amy! You in here? Amy! This is Amy. On a school trip to France. She came top of her class after this, didn't she, Colin? The police are doing all they can. What about friends? Was there anyone that Amy was particularly close to? Cassie, Amy's best friend. Um, there's a picture here somewhere. Guide camp. Of course, they were a lot younger then. We'll need Cassie's home number and any other friends that you can think of. I'll go. What about boyfriends, Donna? Was Amy seeing anyone? More interested in schoolwork than boys. Where they found her bag. It's near where that girl was raped, isn't it? No, we don't know anything yet, not for sure. Amy's a good girl. But she'd fight if she had to. There's no one up there. They didn't go out the back way, Gov. Well, at least we know he's definitely a size nine. OK, pull this place apart. We're looking for a hunting knife, short blade, serrated edge, a pair of work boots, and remember, the mud in the tread is very important. Well, go on. Clothes, uh, toiletries, get them bagged and get them labelled. And I want anything to do with those bloody birds. So who threw the first punch? Uh, I did. Why? What did he say? Is it true respect to gold court? I reckon I'm only here to get my marching orders. I won't come to that, will you? Well, look what crawled out of the wastepipe. You still here, Tate? I love you. I swear by the end of the day, Kent, I love you. Come on, Cameron. Did anyone see Cameron here, Gabriel? Mm, I'm going to talk to them now. Is Gabriel hurt? Well, pride, mostly. But the thing about PC Kent is there's always another side to the story. Well, if it's assault, Cameron will have to be charged. Well, he's a good officer. I don't want to lose him, not if I can help it. Can I just try and talk to them? End of day, Gina. Then we decide on whether to involve the DPS. Educated guess. Women trouble, I presume. Oh, more than likely. Solveig Christensen was attacked in an alleyway here off Spicer Lane. Amy Grogan's handbag and mobile phone were found less than 200 yards away here on Taft Road. Now, obviously, the close proximity of the handbag to Kennedy's most recent attack does give us cause for concern. As does our eyewitnesses' account of a young girl fitting Amy's description arguing with a man also here on Taft Road. Did we get a description of the guy? Yeah, darker, average build, but the witness didn't get a good look at his face. But he did say our guy was driving a 4x4. Like Kennedy's? Like Kennedy's forensics are checking it out now. Well, we got Kennedy's passport in the search, so I don't think he's going anywhere. We've also had an all-ports warning out since last night, so we know he hasn't left the country. But we believe, because of the increasing severity of each attack, Kennedy's reaching a point of crisis, an end game. Which, if he's consistent, he's going to want to play close to home. However, Kennedy's house is here on the edge of the circle of activity, when I would have expected to have found it inside. Kennedy is our man. 
I agree. I just think we might be looking for him in the wrong place. In your opinion? Which, I believe, is what I'm being paid for. Look, all I'm saying is the fact that we didn't find Kennedy at home strongly suggests that he's operating from a secondary base. Now, that could be a house, could be an outbuilding, somewhere where he keeps his rape kit, changes his clothes. Somewhere he could be holding Amy. And I think that's going to be central to the established geography. Remember, offenders don't go where they don't know. Now, our priority is to find that base. Terry, talk to family members, can you? Brothers, cousins, I want to know if he's got any relatives in the area. Okay. Jim Falconry Clubs, give him a ring. I want to know if he owns his own bird. If he does, where does he keep it? And remember, until we hear otherwise, Amy is still alive and she's waiting for us. Have you any idea the amount of trouble you're in? Yes, ma'am, I think I do. Then you are going to have to give me something to work with fast. It is a private matter between me and PC Kent. Oh, no. Believe me, that is nowhere near good enough, Cameron. You're going to have to give me an explanation, no reasons to why you hit Gabriel. Well? There's no reasons, ma'am. I see. Then I suggest you go and help T.S. Nixon and the rape squad until you can think of one. In the meantime, if anything resembling a half-decent excuse crosses that confused brain of yours, you come and tell me. Pronto. Out. Jonathan, how was Kenya? Great. I see you've been busy. Are you uh, sure this is your serial rapist? Well, our guy's military. So's Kennedy. Kennedy's got links to the countryside through his falconry. A city high flyer who came crashing down after a sexual harassment charge. And additional evidence? Soil sample and a boot print I'm hoping to match. What about DNA? No, not yet. But Kennedy is definitely our man. I'm just the CPS lawyer, Sam, but if that's all you've got, there's a long way to go before I can authorise a charge. Khadija Mia. She caught a glimpse of her attacker. No, I'm hoping she'll be able to pick him out on an ID. When's that going to happen? Well, when I get time to organise it. Hey, Sam, believe me, I'm not the bad guy here. If Kennedy is the rapist, I want him locked up just as much as you do. So, are you and Donna newlyweds? Yeah, nearly a year. I'm planning on taking her away. She doesn't like flying, thought maybe Jersey. What about Amy's real dad? Moved out to Florida about five years ago. Hasn't been in touch since. Mm -hmm. You got a number for him? Um, somewhere, yeah, I can find it. You call and you said you went out looking for Amy last night. When it got late, Amy wasn't answering her mobile. Thought maybe a battery had gone dead. Uh, whereabouts did you go? Do you remember what streets? Um, I don't know. Antrim Street, Bryony Way. And that was what, about 10 o'clock? Yeah, about that. When was the last time you saw Amy? <sighs> I don't know, breakfast? Did she seem normal or upset about anything? We didn't really speak. Look, if you need me, I'll be outside. And you say Cameron just came at you? Out of the blue. Fist flying. And PC Young, this wouldn't have anything to do with her, would it? Not that I'm aware of, no. So this wouldn't be about you and PC Tate vying for her affections? I don't know what it's about. All I know is I'm the victim here. And I don't hear anyone suggesting otherwise, do you? Well, you and me haven't always seen eye to eye, have we? Look, I've got a missing girl, a serial rapist on the loose. If all this is about is a few hurt feelings... Oh, I know what this is about, ma'am. It's about one officer assaulting another, that's what. And I won't be happy until Cameron Tate is kicked out of Sun Hill. We just want you to come home. Oh. Well, if anybody knows what's happened to our daughter. Any connection with yesterday's attack, do you mention? Well, at this stage, we'll keep it up in mind. But given the circumstances of Amy's disappearance, we have to face the possibility that this may be an abduction. We've got eight lines open. More on the way. Any news on Kennedy? Anything on the door to doors, Terry? A neighbour seems to think Kennedy looks after his sick mum. I'm trying to track her down, but no luck so far. Hello? 
Yeah. And I'm sure the appeal will turn something up. Keep digging. Let me deal with the press. Sir. I don't want you to lose your job. You know, I Well, if I don't give the inspector an explanation, that's what's going to happen. So it's either Gabriel or me. I really was going to say something yesterday. Well, something made you change your mind? Yeah, I didn't know about the tape. What tape? CCTV footage of when the bomb went off. I knew Gabriel had it, but he told me he destroyed it. I took my eyes off James Cooper for one second, Cameron, but it's all recorded. Kerry? As Khadija Mia's sew it officer, do you think she's up to doing an ID? Khadija's very emotional, Sarge. Every time we ask her to tell her story, it's like we put her through the whole ordeal again. We appreciate that there are strong emotions here, Kerry. Are you sure you need her? I and mean, what about the forensics? They're not enough. Look, I understand your concern, Kerry. But I don't think it could do any harm just to ask her. I'm going to go there now. Do you want to come with me? I am not feeling that well, Sarge. Okay. Cameron, from what I hear, you could do with keeping out of trouble. Sarge. Let's go. A lot of people know him he's missing now. You both did really well. Is Donna okay? I'll meet you in the car, Gov. Okay. Look, you should know, Amy's started staying out late recently. There've been arguments. Did you argue yesterday? Ooh, it's not like I scared her away or anything. Amy's way too strong for that. It's just... Amy's not the angel her mum makes her out to be. Excuse me, can I have a quick word? Yeah. Uh, why don't you go and wait in the car, Colin? The stepdad, I recognise him. Where from? A couple of weeks ago, I warned him for curb crawling. Of course, he denied it, but... OK, thanks, Cameron. Governor. Colin's just confessed that there was tension between him and Amy. OK, we need to keep a closer eye on him. I've spoken to Martin Wilson, Amy's real dad. He's not been in the country for six months. He's had no contact with her. In fact, he didn't really sound interested. Well, we've got Amy's passport anyway. Sorry to throw you in at the deep end. Sink or swim, the way I like it. You've got the FLO logbook. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No, nope, I think I'm doing all right, unless you're done. No, no, you're doing fine, so far. In fact, I'm uh, very impressed. Sir, this is Cassie Tate, Amy's best friend. OK. So Amy didn't say anything to you, Cassie? About going away, maybe with some other friends? No. What about a boyfriend? Has she got one? She's not even my best friend anymore. Or do you have a fallout? Amy only wants to do crazy things. Like what? E. Whiz. Anything to get off her head. And you're not interested in that? She says I'm a nugget. Sorry? Chicken. Just cos I don't want to. No. Oh. Well, I don't want to do drugs either, Cassie, so uh, I guess I'm a nugget too. But Amy could be in trouble, Cassie. So anything you know, even if she made you swear not to tell. There's this one guy. He's older than us. A biker, Dave Moran. How did he go with Khadija? Uh, not good. Well, can't you persuade her? Offer a witness protection or something? No. Kerry was right. Khadija's in no fit state to go through an ID. There's nothing more I can do. Sarge, I found a pair of work boots at Kennedy's. They're fast-tracking the forensics now. Good. Nothing on the knife? No. Well, fingers crossed for work boots, then. <laughs> You've been here before? No, yeah, once or twice. So, what do you reckon, Cameron? Give you ten seconds to flush him out, go. Shit. <laughs> hey, hey, look, but don't touch, yeah? It's a pity your mother didn't teach you that about underage girls. Dave Moran. Yeah, and? Amy Grogan, do you know her? She hangs out here sometimes. Well, she's missing. Is she? Where were you last night? Here, drinking. You gonna ask any of them?